ஹாய் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் அயாம் பாலாஜி ராவ் வெல்கம் டு பிஆர் மேக்ஸ் கிளாஸ் இன் திஸ் கிளாஸ் வி வில் லேர்ன் ஹவு டு சால்வ் கிவ் அண்ட் டிஃப்ரென்ஷியல் ஈக்குவேஷன் யூ அப்சர்வ் திஸ் கொஷின் த கொஷின் இஸ் லைக் திஸ் ஷோ தட் கிவ் அண்ட் டிஃப்ரென்ஷியல் ஈக்குவேஷன் ஈஸ் ஹோமோஜினியஸ் டிஃப்ரென்ஷியல் ஈக்குவேஷன் அண்ட் சால்வ் இட் யூ அப்சர்வ் திஸ் இஸ் த கிவ் அண்ட் டிஃப்ரென்ஷியல் ஈக்குவேஷன் வாட் வி நீட் டு ஷோ First, we will show that given differential equation is a homogeneous differential equation. Afterwards, we will solve this differential equation. To show given differential equation is a homogeneous differential equation, we will follow these two steps. First step, second step. What is first step? Whatever the given differential equation, we will write the differential equation in the form of dy by dx equal to f of x comma y. Afterwards, I'll calculate f of lambda x comma lambda y. If we are able to express f of lambda x comma lambda y in the form of lambda power n into f of x comma y, then we say that given differential equation is a homogeneous differential equation of degree n. I'll write given differential equation in this form dy by dx equal to f of x comma y. x square minus y square into dx equal to, you take this term to right hand side. then it will become minus 2xy into dy. I need to write dy by dx. So what I'll do, I'll take dx to this side. Then what you will get here? You will get x square minus y square divided by minus 2xy. You take this uh, minus 2xy to the left hand side equal to dy by dx. Okay. So, I'll write this first dy by dx. dy by dx equal to here multiply numerator denominator with minus. Then what you will get here? Numerator will become y square minus x square divided by 2xy. Okay. So I written given differential equation in the form of dy by dx equal to f of x comma y. Now what is f of x comma y? f of x comma y means it is a function in terms of x and y. You can observe here this is f of x comma y. So, I'll write what is f of x comma y. What is f of x comma y? f of x comma y is y square minus x square divided by 2xy. We need to show that it is a homogeneous differential equation. To show it is a homogeneous differential equation, you observe this step 2. What I'll do? I'll calculate f of lambda x comma lambda y. How to calculate f of lambda x comma lambda y? Here y is there. In place of y, you write lambda y. Lambda y whole square. Lambda y whole square is nothing but lambda square into y square minus x square. In place of x, you write lambda x. Lambda x whole square. Lambda x whole square is lambda square into x square. Whole divided by 2 into x. In place of x, you write lambda x into. In place of y, you write lambda y. You can take lambda square common in the numerator. If you take lambda square common in the numerator, what you will get? Lambda square into y square minus x square divided by, you observe the denominator, lambda into lambda is lambda square into whatever remaining here, 2 into x into y, that is 2xy. You observe here, this lambda square, lambda square will get cancelled. Then what will be remaining here? 1 will be there. That one can be written as lambda power 0 into y square minus x square divided by 2xy. Okay. So here you observe y square minus x square divided by 2xy is what? It is nothing but f of x comma y. So I will conclude here what we got. Therefore, when I calculate f of lambda x comma lambda y, what you are getting here? Lambda power 0 lambda power 0 into what is this this is nothing but f of x comma y this is nothing but f of x comma y f of x comma y you observe the second step if we are able to express f of lambda x comma lambda y in the form of lambda power n into f of x comma y then we say that given differential equation is a homogeneous differential equation of degree 0. I will conclude the same. Therefore, given differential equation is a homogeneous differential equation of degree 0. Right. Now, once you confirmed that it is a homogeneous differential equation, to solve homogeneous differential equation, we will follow the particular procedure. What is that pro particular procedure? First, I will take y equal to vx. Let 
y equal to vx. If we differentiate this with respect to x on both sides, then I'll get dy by dx equal to, here see, dy by dx, if you differentiate y equal to vx on both sides, you will get that dy by dx equal to v plus x into dv by dx. Now what you will do, this and this, both the things you substitute in the given differential equation. In place of dy by dx, you write this, what you will get v plus x into dv by dx equal to y square. In place of y, you write vx. Here y square is there. y square means it will be v square x square minus x square. x is as it is x square divided by 2 into x into y is there here. In place of y, what we will write? We will write vx. Okay. If we simplify further, what you will get? v plus x into dv by dx equal to you observe the numerator here x square is there here also x square is there so i can take x square common in the numerator you observe in the denominator x into x is x square so in the numerator x square and in the denominator x square will get cancelled what will be remaining here v square minus 1 divided by 2v okay now i'll take this plus v to the right hand side see what happens x into dv by dx equal to v square minus 1 divided by 2v minus v. Little bit of simplification I will do. x into dv by dx equal to v square minus 1 minus 2v into, 2v into v that is 2v square divided by 2v. Okay. So x into dv by dx equal to c v square minus 2v square v square minus 2v square is minus v square. So what you will get here minus 1 minus v square divided by 2v. Okay. You can observe in this x terms dx v terms dv. So to solve this further I will go through the variable separable method. To solve homogeneous differential equations you must know how we solve a differential equation by variable separable method. Okay. So, in variable separable method, what we will do? First, we will separate x variable dx, v variable dv like this. See, you take this 2v to the left hand side. Then what you will get? 2v divided by minus 1 minus v square is there. Here you can take minus common. Then what you will get? You will get 1 plus v square into dv. What will be remaining in the here? You see here x is there. Na? You take this to the right hand side. Then what you will get? 1 by x and you take dx to the right hand side what you will get into dx you observe v terms dv x terms dx is separated in variable separable method if once variables are separated then we'll integrate on both sides so integrate here on both sides before integrating here you observe here minus is constant so i can write it outside the integral minus integral of 2v divided by 1 plus v square into dv equal to integral of 1 by x into dx. Okay. Now, it's time for integration minus you observe. What is the derivative of 1 plus v square? Derivative of 1 plus v square is 2v. Its derivative is there in the numerator. We are using this formula very frequently. Integral of f dash of x divided by f of x dx equal to log mod f of x plus c log mod f of x plus c if numerator is the derivative of denominator we can write its integral directly here derivative of 1 plus v square is 2v so we can write its answer directly log mod 1 plus v square equal to uh, while doing variable separable method we will write integral constant on any one side to avoid the confusion okay so here integral of 1 by x dx integral of 1 by x dx is log x base c and I am writing integral constant plus c. All these things we already know in variable separable method why we are writing plus c at this side only. Okay. So here you can observe that in this uh, v is there. Actually v is not a part of the question. You observe v considered y equal to vx. So what is v from this? v is y divided by x. So in, in this in place of v you write y by x. So 1 plus in place of v, you write y by x. y by x whole square is y square divided by 
x square equal to log x base e plus this is the solution of given homogeneous differential equation actually you can stop this problem here what happens from person to person when we solve a homogeneous differential equation answer will vary the reason is here i written plus c on right hand side some people will write plus c on the left hand side and some people will write log c here because log c is also integral constant from person to person answer will vary but only the thing you need to understand only the answer looks different it gives the same meaning so to avoid the confusion you please avoid textbook answers just follow the procedure and write all formulas correctly so you do not confuse with the textbook answers whatever you got that is right answer only i'll stop here to avoid unnecessary confusion i hope you understand this class